funny. I was about to uh, kiss my kids goodbye the other day. They were like in the car with mm-hmm. my wife, and I said, like they were about to leave, and I said, wait. <laughs> You cannot leave without kissing goodbye. <laughs> like just random. I don't know where that voice came from or whatever. And both of my kids just started laughing. They're like, do that again. Do that again. <laughs> Dues to Dads is a podcast to help men understand and navigate the transition of being a single dude into a family man. How do we make sense of it all? Well, we probably won't be able to, but let's go ahead and have some fun trying. Hello. Hello. Oh, hello. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing well. Introduce Thank yourself you. first. My name is Alan Bush. My name is Jason Kreidman. Right on. Uh, co-hosts of the show. <laughs> yes. I guess there's nobody else sitting here. <laughs> right. <laughs> so how you been? Been good. Yeah, it's been a good week. Anything exciting? Nothing terribly exciting. Um, there was something that actually we covered on the last episode. I'll just dive right in. There's a lot of stuff that we covered. Well, we did. There was some, There Be was one specific, thing we please. covered on the last episode. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> uh, no, actually, uh, it was. I was kind of gnawing on me as we, we were talking about it because it's something that we talk about like compliments and we we kind of ended on yeah the last show was we had that clip about the compliment and then we also talked about the homework was a compliment right like to go home and do yeah we were going to do that so how did it go it went well it always goes well who doesn't like compliments yeah i know my my wife is the same she was like oh well what was why did you yeah what are you coming from like where does that come from yeah so it was cool it's from the heart girl yeah exactly lady take it so, so okay. So, what was your confusion? So, uh, well, it's more about like what is appropriate for your c- colleagues and friends and coworkers versus your significant others. Are you talking about the same sex or opposite sex? Opposite sex in general for the dads. You know and, what? Yeah. This sounds like a dad's debate. All right, let's do that. Okay, so you you're talking about the opposite sex yeah so say you're a guy mm-hmm. which which I, I happen to be as far as, as, far know. as we know <laughs> um, I'm not gonna show you <laughs> <laughs> Adam's apple shows it right, right. Um, if you're in a situation where you're working with females or you have female friends which I do I have, I have quite a few female friends as much as probably as many as I have male friends on some level okay um, closer male friends probably but I mean I that do have female, genuine female friends you know totally platonic right um what what kind of compliments are are okay? Because there was something in your voice that told me that you didn't really dish out compliments too uh, too much to female colleagues or. Yeah, you know, I I think, and, and well, you're talking about, and that's the other thing you have to clarify what kind of compliments. So you know, a compliment. Well, any compliment. Well, to a colleague of somebody that I'm working with. Okay. I would probably be more inclined to compliment something related to work versus something physical. Yeah. Now, no, I, okay, so I guess let's preface this then by saying, is it okay to compliment physical things or physical traits that you might? I mean, I know there's limits to this, so don't get me wrong. So, Like somebody gets a new haircut. Yes. Okay. I mean, that, that's, a, that's a good example. That's actually. a good example. So you're with a, you're with a coworker. She had long hair before, and now she cut it. Yeah. Sure. Saying, okay. wow, that you know, that's a great haircut. It looks great on you. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't think that's inappropriate. Right. I mean, I think I'm probably on the extremely conservative side of not saying something to the opposite sex that might be construed as, you know, flirting or, yeah. uh, you know, whatever, just out of respect for my wife or. Yeah. You know. Well, I get, and there's the other thing. It's like, is it disrespectful to compliment somebody on an appearance? That, you know, I, I don't know, like with colleagues, because I'm a director at the company I'm working with now and I'm the manager, I'm the same way. I'm very conservative when it comes to that. I might be able to say certain things and get away with it. But to, for the most part, I back away from uh, any kind of physical compliments, unless it's like like oh, said, sure. a, a drastic haircut or a color change. Well, you also don't want to be creepy guy. Y- yeah. I mean, and here's the thing, you know, people will take it the wrong way yeah some people will you know i mean unless you're just that kind of nice friendly guy you know well, and see now, now if everybody knows you as like the long-term relationship or married guy with kids yes and you are very stable and you happen to make a compliment then it probably won't be as creepy i think you're right and i think it does depend on who it comes from because there's the different if you're layers. really attractive then the women don't mind <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah you have a sexy smile right and you can get away with it 
No, um, it, it's, it is funny, though. I mean, you can. Yeah, right. That's if you're better thing. looking, That's, it's a double standard. I've seen it me. happen with a good looking guy who says something right. to a girl, but if someone else said it to them, they'd probably be like, ugh. Right. So I, I, I guess there's different levels. There's the colleague. There's someone that's, if you're a subordinate or you're kind of a colleague to somebody, um, you generally kind of be conservative. This is yeah. what my opinions are right now. Um, with friends, there might be a different layer. Like I can get away with saying a bit more to someone like a female friend. Is your wife? Or I mean, your girlfriend present? She, she can be, but I, okay. I, you know, to be truthful though, <laughs> I wouldn't say it as much okay. as I would. So there's, of so that. there's a perfect thing right there. Yeah. I and I, as I said, I'm much more on the conservative side. Mm. I am careful to think of if my wife was sitting right here, would it be an appropriate comment or not? And so then it depends on who you're married to or yeah, who you're in a relationship yeah. with. Because the truth is, I don't think my wife would care. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So my wife wouldn't care. I would probably be more conservative than my wife would care. My about girlfriend me wouldn't either. care either. That's right. why. But it's just in my head that I don't do those things. And right. I remember, you know, with certain relationships I've been with, where the girl would notice another girl and be like, "Oh yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Look well, at that's that girl. okay. That girl's hot. I'm right. Like, but and I also, <laughs> I mean, maybe there's a double standard too. I don't know. I mean, maybe from the female side of, you know, is it okay for the female to give a compliment? The difference is, is I think guys will take it the wrong way. <laughs> They will, you know, nine times it, out of ten. It's not be a like, plutonic. Oh, yeah. Something. Oh wow, that girl's hot for me. But you know? but in, um, but it would be like the wrong way. And like, yeah, you're right. I think that the, the guy saying um, something to a girl, the girl might take it in the negative sense and say, "Oh, this guy's hitting on me." I mean, but what other things like other than like, hey, your hair, like from a haircut, well, like, or, you say, let's oh, say like, eyes. hey, that blouse looks great. Like, well, or, or I mean, you have pretty eyes, or oh, you have really, you know, like whatever this. Like, it's hard to say. I don't know where that line is on but some level. I mean, like, but normally, I guess from a guy, usually you give those compliments because you're interested or because you're – I mean, I don't know. It's, I've I've said to a friend of mine named Derek a long time ago, if he's listening at all. Uh, let's one call day, him up. One day I go, oh, you have nice eyes. Well, that's a guy. And it was a guy. Okay. And he's well, like, that's... don't say that ever again. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> But he was I mean, joking. But, I mean, but it was one of those things that like I would say it to a guy just as easily. If okay. it was like, well, well, you really like, you know. So, but the thing is, because it's a girl or a woman, um, the compliments kind of flow out easier because they're obviously not going. They're going to think it as a compliment, and it's coming from the opposite sex. So, yeah, I'm noticing that you are physically on some some physical thing is there, and I want you to understand that I notice it as a guy. Yeah, I mean, maybe I'd be more inclined. Like our, with the last thing we talked about, is if somebody I thought had a low self esteem, mm-hmm. or like you know, it, it wasn't very <laughs> sure of themselves as a woman, and like. You're just kind of saying, wow, that looks really nice or yeah. something like that because you're trying to just, you know, help them feel good. Yeah, yeah. You know, so that and might I be guess, better. you know, it's, it's not – yeah, I, I just try to figure out where those lines are. Like in my head, it's perfectly okay to do that. And if a girl says, oh, you look great or, you know, again, it, it, I think it's about who you're talking to and sure. how you throw it out there. So did we answer the debate, I guess? Or uh, just no, kinda... no real answer. Just I was just curious That's your good perspective. Debate, is, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like what's your perspective on it? You know, where where do you draw that line? I'm, I'm, I'm on the way perspective. You know, I'm on the yeah. – Probably. You know, and funny that you mentioned it, like in a in a working situation, I am too. Yeah, like I don't, I really steer clear of it. Yeah, I don't need any 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 difficulty. <laughs> yeah, and I, I guess I don't think about it because it's like I don't want right. to disrupt those feathers. So, all right, well, cool. Yeah. Let's talk about something to do. All right, all right, here's stuff to do. So, on the previous episode, we talked about an old school place to go, which was the library. Okay. Right. Now I'm going to talk about an old school thing to do. And okay. this is a play a board game. Yeah. Now, for those of you who don't know, it's not on a computer. It's not an <laughs> app. <laughs> Some kids will be like, there's actual boards of pieces and things. Yeah. I'm talking about checkers, Monopoly. Yeah. Whatever. Shoots and ladders. I mean, who knows? Whatever. Yeah. I remember these games. So recently I played Monopoly with yeah. my kids and they loved it. Sure. I mean, They've got little the thimble and the little dog, and then yeah. there's money. And what kid doesn't love money? Now, sure, sure. You know they're a little young, so they totally don't understand the concepts of like hotels and and you know <laughs> buying property the properties. value. Yeah, <laughs> like uh, you got to pay taxes. Here's two hundred dollars. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? Um, but they seriously, it, you know, they one of them. You know, like, I think it was my son who was like he wanted to be the banker, you okay, because he wanted to, help, you know, so be able to dish out the yes, money. Yes, and he he can add and subtract and yeah. do that. So it was it was interesting. So it was just really cool to interact and them have it being really excited about it. Yeah, 
And then my son loves checkers now. I mean, he's now learning chess slowly, but I'm not a very good chess player, so <laughs> I'm not sure I'm the best one to teach him. Yeah. Um, but checkers is you know really easy, and so it was the idea of just playing of what we would consider, let's say, an old school board game. I'm glad you know? those really haven't gone out of fashion because a lot. Of, well, I mean, I some think of them have. Are, you think so? Yeah. I mean, they're still in the stores, but I mean, I mean, people are trading that for apps and yeah. computers, virtual and like checkers. That. Yeah, I mean, but even like, you know, with younger kids who have an iPad or something, it's yeah. like instead it's like, forget it, bust out an old school game, yeah. sit on the ground or on a table yeah. and just play. Right, right. And, you know, it, it, it's fun. It was a yeah. lot of fun. So it, I don't know. I, I, I thought I, I did it the other day and I just was like, you know what, this is something cool to share on the podcast because my, my kids just, you know, they really enjoyed it. You do have a, see that one, I think it was like Pictionary or like oh, there's all well as yeah, the they get a little older, yeah. Stuff, like, yeah. yeah, but I'm, as, yeah, I'm trying to think of all the board games that I used to play. Well, I know I think it's good as adults. Yeah, no, that. I know a, a, another family. Um, they have every I think it was like every Sunday night is game night. Oh, okay. You know? So the family play. plays a game together. There's, cool. There's five of them. And yeah. They play a game together every Friday night, a board game. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you know, you could you don't have to necessarily do it like that, but uh, you know, the idea of even just with you know you or your daughter and or you and your son or something yeah um, it's a cool way to just spend spend a little bit of quality time yeah cuz you have to interact <laughs> you're forced to interact <laughs> right right exactly and stare so, at each other rather than a screen yeah so do that <laughs> cool all right up next we've got mailbag So, Alan, it looks like we've got an email that came in. Why don't you read this? Okay. Um, the question is from Riley, which I'm assuming is a female. Um, no, it's a guy. It's a guy named was, Riley? I'm pretty sure. Okay. Um, I just listened to your first three podcast. <laughs> uh, when Alan becomes a dad, who's going to be the dude on the show? Oh. I actually thought about this um, kind of during the when we record. I'm like, yeah, what if I have a kid? You know, I'm not that far well, out. Well, I, you know, I don't, I don't necessarily take this as, you know, you're the dude, I'm the dad, and that's how. I mean, I think part of it is the spirit of just all of us yeah. dads, well, we, and it just kind like, of evolved. Like that was just convenient that yeah, I didn't have kids, <laughs> right? Right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's when we were even talking yeah. about doing the podcast. Right. It was just like, well, yeah, well, yeah. I mean, you know, having a little bit of a dude perspective, but I, I think even as a dad, you still have the dude perspective. You're just not in it. Yeah, you know, right. you're not living it, and right, so. Right. Uh, for everybody out there, you don't need to apply because Alan's not going anywhere. Right. So um, <laughs> that would be funny. We, we need to know the dude. Co-host. Dude, you know, dude. Well, um, you get another. You know, maybe it's like a co-host for a week or something. Yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> I don't think so. I no, like having it, Alan. But in, here. it's also the um, the the whole point of the show is that transition right. from being a dude to dad. So if I do have a kid and we're still doing the show. I can tell We're you all about go my through transitions. It with you. Yeah, exactly. Right. Like, Absolutely. I remember episode three when this <laughs> happened. You know, <laughs> so no, for sure. Yeah. Well, thanks, thanks, Riley. That, that that's actually that's funny. That's pretty I funny. I never really thought about. Well, that, I thought but, about yeah. it because we kind of like started introducing that you're the dad, I'm the dude in the show, and right. so it was funny. That's like, well, what becomes that? Well, I become a dad. That is funny. So yeah, cool. Good. Right. Well, if any, if you guys have any questions or want to provide feedback, uh, email us podcast at dudes to dads dot com. Exactly. Uh, you can follow us on Twitter. Uh, at dudes to dads dot com. That's right. I'm sorry. At dudes to dads on Twitter. Yes, <laughs> yeah, exactly. That matters. The website's dudes to dads dot com. There's yeah. so many, so many different uh, things. Yeah. I know. Just put dudes to dads somewhere and write. It'll us. come up <laughs> yeah. with our Pinterest and Instagram accounts. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Anyways, you were sharing pictures of all the podcasts. <laughs> Everybody all the exciting follow. audio files. Right. Everybody follow. <laughs> so let's get into a little bit of light her fire. Now, let me also tell you what an affair is all about. A woman is in a relationship where she no longer feels good about herself, and so she finds another man that she feels good about herself with. It's not that she's in love with the other man. What she's in love with is the way she feels about herself when she's with the other man. And if you want to fight fire with fire, you've got to make this woman feel good about herself when she's back in your presence. And that's as simple as I can make it. If she no longer feels good about herself, she will go to another man who will make her feel good. So this program is not about getting better looking. Some of the most handsome 
handsome men in the world are by themselves. It's not about making more money. Some of the wealthiest men are lonely. And it's not about becoming more intelligent. It's learning how to make another human being feel good about themselves. So here's your choice. You can concentrate on who she's not, what she hasn't accomplished, what she's not capable of doing, what she's always doing incorrectly, how inferior she is, and how she just doesn't measure up to your expectations. If that's what you choose to concentrate on, then your payoff will be a cold, bitter, cynical, unresponsive woman. If you choose to concentrate on loving her for who she is, appreciating her strengths, noticing the little things she does, praising her for all her small accomplishments, reinforcing her capabilities, and raising her value as a human being, your payoff will be a woman who worships the ground you walk on, caters to your needs, responds to you passionately, and will never want to live without you. So now is that a great clip or what? Yeah. It's a little long, I understand. No, but, no, but yeah, it totally resonates um, with The you. idea that you know, an affair is, you know, really how it's, it's about how the person feels with when they're with the other person. Right. Right. You know? They're, they're missing some emotional component. Right. And that's the thing. You know, like if you don't have some degree of empathy in a relationship, um, people will try to find it elsewhere. Right. I really think that I really believe that if, you know, if they're missing a component in their relationship, they're going to look for it elsewhere, whether it be through friends or in in the case that we're talking about now through another person that's not they're not getting it at home right yeah well that's remember in the last the last episode we talked about you know why people fall in love it's right. because they how they feel about themselves when they're with you right right so when they no longer feel that way they're going to find somebody else that makes yep. them feel good yeah exactly yeah you know yeah and so the, really that's what an affair is i mean yeah so yeah, it, it's it's just really interesting. I mean, I, I think this kind of information is really good. And by the way, on the website we do have a link to light her fire if you want, if people oh, cool. are interested yeah. in purchasing that. I, yeah. I set that up so that people can purchase it. Cool. Um, Still in the stores. <laughs> yeah, so it's speak. actually it's sold online. It's there's, online. there's both the CDs. Uh, no CDs direct from them. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, CDs or you can also download or you can you know, do a download. Oh, yeah. cool. So. Oh. So people can check that out. Yeah, absolutely. Remember CDs? Yeah. <laughs> I know. Remember the day. Remember when we used to go to shit stores? So CDs? I've got a quote for the day. Okay. And it actually is related. You know you know how I do that. I like to relate the, the stuff right back. Segway. It's like, you know, I, I'm new at this stuff almost, you know, but at the same time, I'm not new. <laughs> right, exactly. I'm really old, actually. <laughs> so the quote is, and I don't even know who said it. Okay. Um. But I, I'm paraf- I might even be paraphrasing it. Okay. You probably heard this somewhere. Yes. Okay. So when a man cheats, it says that he is a dog. Mm-hmm. When a woman cheats, it said it's because her man is a dog. <laughs> now, that sounds like a double standard. Is that me- just me? No. I, th- I think it's pretty accurate because... Guys are very much. I wouldn't say that it's of, not. Ex- I mean, it's not acceptable in any standard. Well, I mean, some people may think that I don't, yeah. but you know that it's acceptable to cheat. But right. it seems as if when a woman does it, she does it because she's unhappy. Yes, she's unhappy, and the guy is a jerk, and yes. therefore well, that's the justification for her cheating. There's more behind it. Than, now, when a, than when a guy does it, does though, it. he's just a jerk. He, no, he's just like, wow. It, it's that whole male rooster routine. Right, but nobody blame. Like, okay, so if a woman has an affair, yeah, how many people blame the woman? Right. I don't know. I mean, I I, I have circles of people that I've, I've heard about this with or yeah. that I know of, and it was just an interesting topic and sort of this double standard that yeah. I, I felt w- was happening where – the woman was not necessarily thought of as negatively. It was more, well, what was he doing? What, what, yeah, was why, he, why yeah like, why did she do it? Why did she cheat? And, uh, Versus the guy, yeah. when he cheats, and I've known somebody who had that happened, Yeah, and it was like, oh, he's such a jerk. He doesn't pay attention to her, blah, 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 and so he cheated. Well, do you think it's because he's just a dog? He doesn't really know any better, or he's stupid, or he's just... Well, I don't think there's an excuse for either one. I don't, I I don't, don't know. I agree with you. No, I'm I just agree. thinking the double standard of, of sort of... It is. You know? but, yeah, but it's the same thing about. I guess guy. we got the short end of the stick on it, that one. Uh, we, we, got some, certain, we got plenty of right. other sticks that we're fine with, you know. But right. like, in, no pun intended there. But like this guy. But I think of it equally. I mean, I, I think if whether it's the man or the woman, whoever does it, you don't think, think there's an emotional component behind? No, no, more but, so. With no, women? I, 
Or do you think there's an emotional component behind the guys? Oh, talking? I don't care. I, I, like, honestly, I don't like, care. Just don't yeah, care. it's infidelity to me. It's adultery. No, you know, and, yeah. and I get that. No, like, I, but I'm just saying I, I can't even, the why doesn't come up to you. you, you uh, that's I'm why a, the double standard happens. Because the, the why that most people think of is because a guy is just a dog and the girl has been hurt by a dog and therefore will go. Right. Up. And there's an emotional yeah. component. With women cheat, there seems to be more behind it than okay. there is. With, a I guy see what you're like, saying. I see oh, where you're some, going with it. There's okay. a girl there. That's all I need. Right. <laughs> you know, whereas a guy. Uh, He's uh, only as loyal as his options. Basically. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I hear what you're saying. So yeah. I, just, I just meant in my world, I I, I don't understand, you know, I, I I don't see a justification of it either there way. Is no it's like, hey, deal with what you have first. Sure. End it. Yep. And then move on and, and do what you need to do. I agree with that. You know, yeah, exactly. even if something happens where you're like, whoa, like this is somebody I want. I mean, I don't know. It, it, and even from the male ego standpoint, I, I don't know. There's just a. It's an ego thing. It really yeah. is. Yeah. You, I don't agree with cheating at all. It's a sensitive. But, t- and but, I've never been cheated on or but, cheated. I, I, but yeah. That I'm aware of. But, but yeah. Right, exactly. Yeah. But no, but it's, it's one of those things that, you know, it does come out. And I think I understand why that. Actually, I'm sure I have double... been cheated on. I just don't know of it. You, <laughs> you know? didn't ask. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, whatever. I mean, you know, and throughout the years, I <laughs> I never, I, I never suspected that. That was right. never an issue that, you know, and for me, um, yeah, I, I, I I just see that if I had a problem with a situation, it's like you handle that situation. Deal with that when, first and then. Yeah. Which that's, I mean, I'm like that with many different situations. It has nothing to do with cheating or not. It's like <laughs> handle this first before I can move on to the next thing. Yeah. You know? Right. Right. I and can't that, multitask like that. You know? <laughs> too much to keep in my head. Right. Yeah. I don't want to cheat because it's just too much. It's too much. Too much. But I got enough going on. Right. Anyways, <laughs> enough about that topic. Let's move on to something very positive. Yes. Uh, we're going to close out the show with dad's homework. So in the beginning of the show, we talked about the stuff to do with about the board game. Yeah. And just, I, I don't know. I love board games. Yeah. I think they're Checkers, fun. Yeah, I've always enjoyed Checkers them as a, a kid. Time. I enjoy them as an adult. Yeah. So the homework is to play two games with each child. So if you have six children, you're playing, playing 12 games. Okay. It's a lot of, Pay attention. Well, what if they, it, one, the game involves all of them? You like could monopoly, do that. You know? But I, I, I like, I mean, the idea of being able to play one on one with a child is pretty cool. Like, the, I, yeah, I did play yeah. with both my kids at the same time. Yeah. Checkers, I play one on one. You have, you know? yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Um, it, you know, it, it's okay if you're playing, you know, mm-hmm. hey, it's better than nothing. You, know? you want <laughs> right. to get them all done at once? Yeah, yeah. Your homework all done at once? Get them all done at once. <laughs> uh, but the idea of playing with, you know, two games, I'd say more than one, don't just do it once um, during the next week. And, okay. you know, the idea is it's it's quiet time with just you and a child. And um, so do that. Cool. Yeah, yeah, I like that idea. And I have to remember, I've got to live by my homework. So I can't just give out homework and yeah. not do it myself. Sure, so, sure. So uh, I, I got a picture from Jason that he was doing the homework that he, he with his daughter. Oh, yeah, yeah. He sent me a picture with you doing, making the food. The episode we talked about. Oh, making that's right. So we, the, the food. yeah, we were talking about uh, having cooking with your. Yeah, with yeah. Your, with your child, and exactly. I, I had mentioned a guacamole on Fridays. <laughs> yeah, right. And it was funny because yeah, we we did that. I, I was like, you know, hey, do you want to you know make it? And I was like, oh, I got to send this to Alan, like proof that I'm actually doing <laughs> yeah, I actually what do I this. talk about, I'm not just talking about it. Right. That was funny. So. Right on. So uh, cool. with that, we'll uh, we'll drop this. Oh, what happened? I don't know. What Something was fell that? off the table. It's all right. Uh oh. Yeah. Things are just flying all over the place. <laughs> all right. Well, with that, we will say goodbye and yeah. see you next time. Thanks a lot. 